Hello and welcome you all to Mother Teresa Learning Center. The topic that we are going to see is hallucinogens. So anything which produces hallucination is called as a hallucinogen. Hallucination, abdin pating na ungli ko or Brahmai nada kado or vishyala nada kramadri irko. It's like a delusion. Or an alcoholic patient, they feel feel pain. Um, like they were in their own world. They call that term in medical as euphoria. E U P H O R I A. The feeling of well being. Uh, some other drugs like marijuana and like opium all these drugs will give you the feel of being uh, in the hallucination and one such example is hallucinogen and moving on to the definition of hallucinogen they are nothing but they are uh, they could be a natural substance or it can be a synthetic substance also um, that will give you the feeling of uh, like you have your own thought and your perception and your mood like uh or mari if you are so depressed you feel like uh, some someone uh, make you wake up from that and you come out of that depression when you take this hallucinogen for a part of time but to say that whether it's a treatment or it's a problem it's 10% treatment 90% problem because that produces an addiction to you a patient who is uh, like for example a uh, woman crying out of labor pain can be given morphine but at the same time that morphine could not be given for a prolonged period of time which produces addiction to the same person so that is what the problem with hallucinogen all hallucinogens are called as true narcotics morphine codeine tebain heroin pethidine these are some of the examples of true narcotics ipo namba in the syllabus la vande plants la edella narcotics edella hallucinogen appdi namba paaka porom and they call hallucinogen as psychomimetics psychedelics psychotaraxics idala vandu technical terms they use for hallucinogens and it is present in hemp ungalku inda slide la neenga background la paakradhe vandu ganja chedi dhaan that is cannabis sativa adoda leaves dhaan na vandu inda slide la background la kuduthiruken and some of the mushrooms are also hallucinogen in nature and nutmeg jadikai okay neenga kandipa adu kuda paathirupinga so at overdose nutmeg also produce hallucination okay that is an overdose and uh, these are some of the chemical substances that produce hallucination hallucination uh, psilocybin harmin bufotenin tetrahydrocannabinol tetrahydrocannabinol is highly present present in ganja plant that is cannabis sativa they call it as marijuana okay and lysergic acid amide and lysergic acid diethyl amide okay and next uh, why we want to given hallucinogen or thonga romba alcohol addict avo illa mentally ill avo illa opium addict avo irukanga appadina and the addiction la illa veliye varadhukaga hallucinogen or treatment madri kudukalam and anti emetic if they consumed poison or like something wanted you wanted to vomit the patient out everything you can give an hallucinogen and datura stramonium oda uh, leaves and seeds ah vandu bronchodilator and hypnotic action kaga use pandranga bronchodilator means romba chali adhigama irukum bodu lungs la breathing problem nalla lungs alaga breathe pandradhukaga they use as a bronchodilator and they, it's given as an hypnotic also okay for psychiatric treatment and some of the examples of hallucinogenic plants i have given indian hemp that only they call it as ganja plant betel nut park arika park arika catechu kotta park irukile adu tobacco nicotiana tobacco and nutmeg is mirischika fragrans belladonna mexican mushroom papaver somniferum uh, from papaver somniferum only they take gasagasa no poppy poppy seeds from that only they take morphine codeine and heroin and that's all about the hallucinogens video ungalku pidichundana like pannunga unga friends ellarkum share pannunga marakama mother teresa learning center channel la subscribe pannunga learning today for a better tomorrow